actually right after your book came out, Everyone is Beautiful, sort mm -hmm. of serendipitously. So tell me, so you write a book called Everyone is Beautiful. Do you believe that everyone is beautiful? Yes. I mean, you know, for me, for me, you know, I mean, I think if you're, if you're a girl and you grow up in this world, mm. um, you're taught from a very early age to look for your flaws, right? You're, 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 you're 12 years old, you're reading 17 and they tell you, you know, is your nose too bumpy? Right. You know, and then, and then how to fix that with makeup. Like if your nose is too bumpy, here's how to draw little white lines on it <laughs> so that it'll look a little less bumpy. And it's an education. You know, you spent many years learning how to identify your flaws and compensate for them. Mm. Right. And that, and it breeds this kind of feeling of anxiety that the flaws are there mm. and other people are going to see them. So you have to get to them first and compensate for them quickly mm. so that you're not walking around looking like a jerk with all your flaws. Right. Right. But the premise of that is what's messed up. This idea of looking for your flaws. Like for me, what I would much rather do, what makes life much more pleasant is if you look for the good stuff. Sure. And I've always been much better at looking for the good stuff in other people than in myself. And I think I that's think probably we true are. for most people. Right. But somewhere when I was probably maybe just out of college, I thought, well, you know, hell, if I can do that for other people, why can't I do it for myself? So I'm, I'm not an expert, but here's what I did. Yeah. Because, um, you know, I think all of us girls are mean to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I actually kept a journal okay. where I would try and look for good things and write them down. And I also actually, um, I went through um, art books. Okay. Um, especially paintings of yesteryear <laughs> um, <laughs> that had women in them that looked sort of like me. You know, I oh, looked wow. for women who sort of looked a little bit like me. And, and I was like, all right, somebody took the time to paint this lady. Like she can't be all bad, right? And so I would like <laughs> color. I would like color Xerox these pictures, and I would cut them out, and I would paste them into this journal. And I made these sort of collages, and it was I. What I was trying to do for myself was sort of redefine my notion of beauty. I love that. Yeah, it worked. I think it worked. For me, real beauty is about. It's about a lot of things. I mean, it's about individuality, it's about authenticity, it's about being who you are, it's about like passion and light and, you know, focus and connection and being interested in things and how you express yourself and it's also what you look like but it's sort of the intersection of those things. Right. I mean, I don't want to say it has nothing to do with your looks but it's about what your looks and your personality do when you put those two things together and how they sort of mix it up.